What is up, Nuggets? It's your boy, Killer Pizza, here with a brand new video for you rascals and rap scallions out there. Hopefully everybody's having a great weekend so far. It is very early here in Michigan. I'm about to head out to Super Shogun Wrestling out in West Branch. It is beautiful out here, and I have an awesome tag team match I'm looking forward to tonight, so I can't complain. And as for this video, it's going to be a fun one because it is an unboxing video, and who doesn't like brand new physical media? Now, I have two packages here. And this video is actually a week in the making because I got the first package and I started to do an unboxing last Saturday and then I realized I didn't have all my orders so I just left it in there. I didn't want to retape it and like bullshit you guys or nothing. But anyways, this is my first time ordering from Diabolic DVD or any kind of site like that for that matter. I know a lot of collectors uh, order from Diabolic, like Orbit. Uh, there, there's a bunch of them out there pretty much that carry some of these foreign titles that you can get shipped you in the states a lot easier so yeah i'm pretty excited for this i have three titles i ordered this in particular for one title i'm going to show you right now so enough yapping let me get right into it the video was so cool last time the intro just ripping this box open the other one like a badass so once again i don't need no scissors i don't need no knife <laughs> That's the joke I made last time. Like, what if I can't get this damn box open? All right. Oh, nice. Okay, so this is funny right here. The first title I absolutely love, but I'm just going to keep using it as an example. I know I talked about Day of the Dead uh, a couple times recently with some viewers. It's just funny that there's certain titles that come out on 4K and we still don't have movies like Day of the Dead on 4K. But this is a weird one to have on 4K, but I'm very excited. And that is one of my favorites. I grew up watching this movie. I absolutely love this. That is Kindergarten Cop with Arnold Schwarzenegger, Kino Lorber. Now, they do some absolutely uh, amazing 4Ks when they do them. Very random catalog, I must say. But I had to pick this up because there's something about Kino. Like when I went to get uh, Monster Squad 4K, the pricing was so high and the shipping took so long to arrive like through Amazon or whatnot. So I went to Diabolic. It was a pretty cheap price. And I had to pick it up. Yeah, this is an absolute classic. I mean, what is there to say, you know, to anyone that hasn't seen this? It's one of those movies where it's like, obviously kind of a comedy, a family movie. But it has a little bit of everything in there. Comedy, it's like a family movie, a thriller, action, suspense. It's surprisingly good. And this is one I just grew up watching so many times. It's so quotable. Who's your daddy? What does he do? I'm a cop, you idiot. Or uh, what was the little boy say uh, that was Gage in Pet Cemetery? Boys have penises, girls have vagina. <laughs> and I watched actually the uh, review that uh, Ken did on mid-level mid media. And I will say I am a huge fan of the spine right there, how it's got the kindergarten cop logo. But I've had this for maybe three days, and it's been killing me not to open it because I've really been wanting to watch this. I'll probably watch it tomorrow, the day this video comes out, because this is a good one right here. I absolutely love it. Okay. Not many special features, just a couple audio commentary tracks. So with some of these bigger films, I wish, like, they could get Arnold to do commentary. And it's, like, one of the main stars, you know, but Kindergarten Cop. Here's one I didn't plan on buying, but the price was really cheap, for, especially for an Arrow title, $11. So I decided just to throw this in my cart, and that is Deadly Games. And I'm pleasantly su surprised to see that this has a slip with it, so... Autumn, a burnt orange leaf breaks free and rides a soft night breeze. The silhouette of a young woman as she slowly... And what the fuck? Deadly Games. The gloved hand rolls the dice across a sinister game board and an eerie troubled... Here we go. This is more my lingo. Breathness accompanies the hand as it slowly moves. The, this is the most weird, undescript description of a movie. Like, okay. I know it's a slasher, so I'm happy with that. I love uh, 80 slashers. I pretty much get every one of them. There's a lot of stinkers, though. All right, now here is the last title I got. Open it up. It comes in another box. I guess this had to be shipped separately because uh, oh, because it's a box set, a big box set. And just my luck, I got this for a pretty good deal at $100, and then it went down to 60 bucks on Amazon. But the shipping was still pretty long, and that is the Coffin Joe box set. And I'm just going to open it up. I would have done an individual video about this, but everybody has done one so far. So, 
There we go. There's a big old chunky box set. I'm a sucker that I, I like how it comes off of the top hat. So this has, I believe, 12 movies. At Midnight, I'll Take Your Soul, The Night, I'll Possess Your Corpse, The Strange World of Coffin Joe, The Awakening of the Beast, The End of Man, When When the Gods Fall Asleep, The Strange Hostel of the Naked Pleasures, Hellish Flesh, Hallucinogenics of a Damaged Mind, Embodiment of Hell, and The Strange World of Coffin Joe. I think that's a documentary, so take off the little J card. I do not leave mine on my packaging, but I save them all for whatever reason. I don't know what I'll ever use them for. But once again, it's a pretty cool set. And I was kind of torn on picking this up, but I heard a lot of people describing it of like, for one, the movies look kind of off the chain. They look pretty wild and weird. So I just kind of want to check those out. But I heard these are all Brazilian movies, so if you don't want to read subtitles, I don't know if you want to pick this up. But I heard that this one of these was the very first horror film ever made in Brazil. And I don't know, sometimes I, I try to look at myself as, what's the word I'm looking for? Kind of like a... I can't think of it. I, I try to look out for history, I guess. what I, I'm trying to preserve history in a way. You know, I figure if this has one of the first movies ever put out in Brazil for horror, I have to own it just for the sake of the library. Uh, don't know much about these, but they're a naked woman. It looks like these come in six different cases. So first of all, you get a little booklet. The poster. You guys hang up the posters that are come folded in your Blu-rays. I don't know if I ever have. I, you know, so many of them. I still got all these tubes of like Scream Factory posters I haven't hung up. But anyways, um, All right, I'd open these up and go into a little more detail, but like I said, these videos have been made to death. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's kind of interesting to have like the thin packaging for Arrow uh, videos, the releases, you know, with two movies in each one. And I know these are like reversible sleeves and whatnot, but yeah, this is just a beautiful set. I like to try to pick up some of these. I don't really pick up a lot of the Giallo ones that always come out. Not that big into like those older Italian horror movies. I don't know. I'm weird like that. I'm kind of picky. So this is kind of a title I wouldn't normally pick up, but it was just so damn beautiful. I had to grab it. So let me know in the comments if you guys know anything about Coffin Joe and which one of these movies you think I should start with first. So either way, I'm excited to dive into that. You know, something a little different. And even Deadly Games, even though this description is tor terrible, you know, the releases through Arrow Video, the slashers could be so hit or miss. Uh, you know, I, what, what was the one I watched? Uh, I can't remember the name of it. Oh, well, I mean, there's some slashes I picked up, like like uh, Night School, I think that was one of them. That one was pretty good. I'm, I'm trying to think it was, like Blind Fury, Rage Fury, or something about that teacher who got stalked by the kids that they put out through Arrow. That one was really good. And then I watched, like, Lover's Lane, and it was almost unwatchable. Like, But hopefully this is a good one. Slashes could be hit or miss. But of course, the bell of the ball. I'm a cop, you idiot. Kindergarten cop. Like I said, so funny we get this on 4K, but certain titles we don't have. But anyways, those are the two. The Blu-ray and the 4K with the slips. And the box set. Let me know if you guys have ever ordered through Diabolic DVD before. Let me know what the other sites are like that. I know a couple are slipping my mind, like Orbit, Diabolic DVD. I swear there's another one I can't think of. But anyways, that's my pickup. Hopefully everybody's having a good one this weekend. Blood, guts, gore. I'll check you guys next time.